Hey guys, it's that Dividend Guy coming at you with another Robin Hood portfolio update. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So uh, yesterday, as you guys saw, we had a massive dip. Um, got down to 34k, but now we're back up to 35.6. From what, like 34.8? So we're down about 500 bucks and we seem to rebound pretty nicely here. Right about 35,700. So, just like I said in yesterday's update, long term, it was just a blip on the radar. Nothing crazy. Nothing to really worry about. We have $63 of, oh, sorry, I'll go through. Uh, so, for today, we're up $528, up 1.5%. For the week, we're up $378, up 1.07%. We're up $985.32, up 2.84% for the past month. We are up $1,855.20, up 5.49% uh, on the three-month mark. We're up $6,905.02, up nearly 24% for the past year. And then all time, we are up $8,588.10, up 31.67% since April 13th, 2018. We have a buying power of 6309, which will be added to our 500 when we transfer it over on Thursday. Jumping right in, we've got Realty Income with 120 shares, $8,400 of market value. Average cost is 6702 around 20 well 23.6 percent of the por of the portfolio is in realty income today we're up 178 dollars and 46 cents total we're up 3802 up 4.7 percent all time on realty income next we've got coca-cola 35 shares uh, 1950 dollars of market value average cost is right around 53 dollars a share uh, 5.5% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola. Today we're up $1.92 total work 95.21 of 5.13% on Coca-Cola. Then we've got Altria. 152 shares, $7,100 of market value. Average cost is 47.57. 20.05% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we are up 32.68 total. We're down 85.23. So we do have a little bit of a buying opportunity there for Altria. So we got Procter and Gamble. We have one share. This Dividend King, one hundred thirty nine eighty six for market value. Average cost is one hundred thirty five forty point four percent of the portfolio is in Procter and Gamble. That will be going way up. Love this company. Uh, today we're down sixty four cents total. We're up four dollars and forty cents, up three point two five percent on Procter and Gamble. Then we've got AbbVie at 74 shares, $8,500 of market value. Average cost is $80.68. 24% of the portfolio is in AbbVie. Today we're at $45.88 total. We're up $2,617.32, up around 44% on AbbVie and a dividend coming in of $78. Oops, sorry. Um, and a dividend coming in of $78, but that $78 uh, is only for 60 shares. So uh, the dividend should be around 90 some dollars the next time that we get paid. Then we've got Aflac up $1.61 today. A dollar oh five, or sorry, 105 shares. Uh, around $5,600 for market value. Average cost is $49.20. 15.71% of the portfolio is in AFLAC. Today we're up $169, up 3.07%. Total worth $429, up 8.31% on AFLAC stock. And then to round out the portfolio, we have Pfizer. 92 shares, uh, right around $3,800 of market value. Average cost is $39.88. 10.65% of the portfolio is in Pfizer stock. Oops, I think I, yeah, there we go. So that rounds out the portfolio. Going to look at Berkshire Hathaway because they were down pretty, um, pretty.
pretty aggressively yesterday. Let's take a look. See, look at this. Yeah, down to like 270 yesterday. Now they're up to 276. So not a big drop. About five dollars a share there for Berkshire. I do want to add Berkshire Hathaway because I love the stock. <laughs> Sorry, I love the stock even though they don't pay dividends. Next, we've got the Dow Jones, which is up about five bucks. It dropped to go to 700 points total yesterday. So I wanted to check it, take a quick check at this. Was at 30, around 349 dollars a share. Uh, dropped to 338, and now it's back up to 45. So it, it isn't fully recovered, but uh, it's doing better. And then Spy also dropped about five bucks yesterday. Look at that big dip. Let's <laughs> get down to about four hundred and we got even lower, four hundred and twenty-three dollars a share. Now we're back up to four thirty-one, so about up eight dollars in a day. So I guess that's a flash crash, is what they call that. When it drops and it comes back, because um, we're right back, right back about where it was before it crashed, four thirty-two. Now 431, so really close. So we pretty much bounced back. Um, just a quick disclaimer for new investors. Um, I did see a lot of YouTubers saying like, oh, um, this is going to be another huge crash. This is crash of 2021. It lasted a day. So this is just a quick, you know, blip on the radar. Nothing crazy. Uh, people were saying it was a hurricane and it turned out to be a light breeze. Uh, not to say that it won't happen again because it will, 100%. But um, just for newer investors, just a little um, something you can put put behind your ear. Um, think about it as an opportunity to buy quality companies at a better price. That's really all that was. Um, sadly, uh, none of the stocks that I owned really got below a purchase price that was that made sense for me to purchase. Uh, they didn't get below my average cost. Uh, the only one that did is still sitting below my average cost, and it has been for a while, which is all three. But the stocks that I'm going to be purchasing are 36912, not 14710. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I guess we bounced back, which, you know, I'm never mad about. Um, it's always good to see a green day. Hopefully, everybody's having a, a lot greener day than yesterday. Everything was down yesterday, and it looks like everything's pretty much. Up except Proc Procter and Gamble. So, with that being said, guys, remember to hit the subscribe button on my channel, that dividend guy. When you do, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any updates. I've got list videos and other stuff coming out, as well as portfolio updates every day. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.